Hi there, today we are not fixing anything, we are doing quite the opposite, we are destroying things and that's actually a fun process. So if you are an IT professional or doing this as a side business, uh, eventually you're going to be ending up with a whole lot of old hard drives. Uh, clients are usually asking if they can leave their old hard drive with our shop and if we can destroy it. So if there is no absolutely critical information on a drive, these are just regular drives, doesn't have medical records on any of that, we can definitely destroy it. This is technically the best option what we came up with. So how can you destroy the drive without a six ton uh, bench shop press? Uh, you can use a hammer. This would be the cheapest option, like physically destroying the drive. If you just grab a drive, uh, this mark is dead, and just hit it a couple times in different spots on a solid surface, like on concrete, uh, on a pavement or somewhere, and do the couple things on a circuit board. Uh, this doesn't seem to me a whole lot of damage, but if you ever done any kind of professional data recovery, you know that even this damage is literally makes the hard drive not recoverable. We had clients uh, who had hard drives without physical damage, uh, a circuit board failed or, or a head wasn't able to move and just a small size drive. If you really need the data, the recovery usually partial, not even complete. And I think the last 120 gig drive costed almost $4,000 to do the data recovery. And it was not uh, complete. So a cost of uh, a recovery is, is, is astronomical. It's not really doable by an average person. And uh, we have a lot of these drives. So a lot of them failed, even if the drive is functional what kind of options do you have to sanitize the drive? Uh, the recommendation was used to be seven passes. You have to write zero on the same drive seven times in a row just to make sure there is absolutely no data will be recoverable digitally from the drive. And depends on the size of the drive, this could take easily hours, but sometimes days. A single drive would take about a day or day and a half just to have seven passes uh, and then encryption came along we can encrypt the drive if the drive is still functional and then just throw the encryption uh, key away and i will still destroy the drive so if you are a, me a medical professional or somewhere uh, in a law or financial field and uh, you have to play by the rules and regulations uh, the best option for you is call a professional company or this uh, the data destruction company who is actually offering maybe an in-house or an, an on-site service, they would come out. You have to meet the minimum requirements, which is usually starts at 200 and 250 drives, and your per drive cost would be somewhere between $7 to $20. It's an $85 machine with free shipping. It's a six-ton uh, shop press or bench top press. What's happening is we have... Uh, a barrel jack it sits in this frame and it pushes it itself down with this rod and this rod actually will drive itself to a hard drive uh, this is six ton we're literally putting about 12,000 pound pressure in this one inch area in a drive the drive literally bends in half no we are not cutting the drive in half completely but this does an extremely good job uh, based on my experience, nobody will start uh, to to see if there is anything. If you think you can flat this platter out, you cannot. Uh, if you ever seen a clean room where they do data recovery, even just dust particles from uh, f from a completely uh, completely physically sound drive, is it pretty much makes the job impossible. You will never flat this platter out. And this platter is uh, going to spin on a 5,000, 7,000, or 10,000 RPM, uh, and it will be never uh, recoverable. Not only that, but when we are in the process, when, while we are doing this, we're technically driving that rod with this top cover into the top platters. If you have multiple, uh, this one I think only has one or two, so they're going to be uh, infused together uh, to a point uh, when the recovery is not possible. So hammer or 
for $85, you can do this as a size business uh, or even offering a free service to clients just to get into the business. If they have any old drives, just removing from the computer case and even take this with you on site and literally take 10, 15 seconds to crush a drive. I will show it to you in a minute. One thing to pay attention, uh, the small drives or uh, the platters are glass or almost glass-like and uh, they will shatter. It's... Uh, you can see the, the pieces in here. Uh, I always wear eye protection. The large drives has a magnetic uh, drive in them or platter in them. So they will not shatter. They will just bend. Uh, solid state. Yes, it does the job. As you can see, the solid state uh, circuit board has no chance to survive. One thing to keep in mind is sometimes the solid state, the case itself, it is, uh, it is big. But if you if you hit the drive at the middle, see the circuit board is pretty much survived in here, or it looks like it did, but it's not. Like some of these chips are completely cracked. But uh, what I would do is, if you are destroying a drive, make sure you're not hitting the middle of the drive. Just hit maybe a half an inch off uh, from these connectors, and in that case, the drive will be uh, the drive will be destroyed for sure. So let me show you how long would it take to destroy just one drive it's pretty much ready to go and we can raise uh, up this depends on how thick the drive is and this also came with these for $85 I can't believe with free shipping how, how can you even do that so has these two metal bars and this is perfect because the two and a half inch drive is very close uh, in size between the gap what we have between these brackets so if you put these up and put the drive between them the two and a half inch driver solid state uh, will be just uh, just bent completely and safely and nicely so I'm gonna wear my goggles just in case and I'm just gonna show you how quick uh, the drive will be crushed so let's see This is pretty much it, and I'm gonna take this drive out. And I can show it to you that there is no chance to recover anything from this drive. And again, if you don't uh, work in a medical field, you don't need an official uh, certificate of destruction. This will do the job, and we're gonna drop these drives off at the recycle center, and they will be scrapped uh, for uh, their their metal or anything is still usable, so they're not just going to go to the landfill as it is. If you found this video helpful or useful, if you could consider a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. As always, I will always do my best to give you the best possible answers. I'll see you in the next video. Scott's out.